Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Sandhan Shrestha. I'm dermatology resident and as dermatology carries 7 marks in coming CA, it is important to get good rank. So today we will be starting with leprosy. Now let's uh, talk about leprosy. Leprosy is a disease that predominantly affects the skin and peripheral lobes, which results in neuropathy and associated with long-term consequences including deformities and disabilities. It is also associated with the social stigma, especially when deformities are present. Now WHO has prioritized country for leprosy and Nepal is one of them. According to uh, Department of Health Services Annual Report 2076-77, that is 2019 and 20, prevalence rate is 0.69 cases per 10,000 population and this is one of the important points for CAA. Now talking about transmission, it is poorly understood, thought, uh, thought to be through inhalation of droplets containing the causative agent Mycobacterium leprae. However, transmission via skin contact cannot be excluded and uh, leprosy has a reservoir in armadillos and other few animals. Now talking about lepra bacilli, it is an obligate intracellular gram positive and acid fast bacilli. It is short, thick, pink stained rod and its arrangement is single or in cigar separate bundle or in globi. And this is a really important point as well. And it has high affinity for swan cells and reticular endothelial cells. They do not produce toxin. They may occur both intracellular and extracellularly. It can remain dormant in various body sites and uh, it grows best in cooler places like skin, peripheral nerves, upper respiratory tract, and testes. Uh, it presents as parallel rows of bacilli in globi that is cigar bundle appearance. This is uh, one of the important point and in tissue section it appears as clump of bacilli resembling cigarette ends. And globi are found in large undifferentiated histocytes which is also known as virtuous lepra cells or foamy cells. Uh, lepra bacilli can survive outside the human body for 2 to 9 days and it remains viable in warm humid environment for 9 to 16 uh, days in moist soil for 46 days and can survive exposure to direct sunlight for 2 hours and UV light for 30 minutes. Now in this flowchart we can see how it enters. Mycobacteria lepra enters uh, respiratory tract, affects swan cell in uh, cooler places, uh, bacilli multiplies inside swan cells and if portion has good cell mediated immunity response it may result uh, in uh, either no skin uh, nerve lesion appear or skin nerve lesion appear followed by spontaneous healing or it may turn into post bacillary leprosy. And when a person has weak cell mediated immunity response, it may turn into multibacillary leprosy or skin, nerve, eye, testis, kidney, voluntary smooth muscles, reticular endothelial system, and vascular endothelium may get involved. And both of these result in disabilities and deformities. Now, talking about clinical feature, it, re it ranges from inconspicuous hypopigmented skin lesion to widespread damage leading to deformity, disability and systemic involvement and onset of leprosy is gradual and insidious. Uh, now talking about pathophysiology, the clinical manifestation of disease are, may, are primarily due to multiplication and dissemination of mycobacterium leprae. Host immune response to bacilli and its antigen and uh, cell mediated immune response is the most important determinant of clinical features and complication of damage to peripheral lobes uh, which is result of force to itself. Now clinical presentation, uh, it, appear, it may appear as area of numbness, well defined patch with loss of sensation, multiple vague non-anesthetic patches, anesthesia of one part of hand or foot, muscular weakness without skin lesions and also as neuritic pain, reactions, epistaxis, esthetic eczema, edema of feet, non-healing arson and ulcer and tenosynovitis. Uh, WHO has said uh, criteria, diagnostic criteria for leprosy. Uh, diagnosis of leprosy remains based on the presence of at least one of the three cardinal signs and which includes definite loss of sensation in 
in a pale hypopigmented or reddish skin patch. Another one is thicken or enlarged peripheral nerve with loss of sensation and weakness of the muscle supplied by that nerve or presence of acid fast bacilli in slit skin smear. And up to 95% 95% of patients with uh, exposed to mycobacterium leprae will not develop the disease, suggesting that host immunity plays an important role in disease progression and control. And the incubation time ranges from 2 to 20 years or longer. And uh, now talking about immunity, those at one end of the spectrum with a high level of immunity harbor a low number of bacilli and referred to as patient with post bacillary leprosy and those with many bacilli in the body are referred to as patient with multi bacillary leprosy. But current definition of uh, post-bacillary and multi-bacillary leprosy by WHO, uh, according to 2017, uh, says that post-bacillary uh, cases is uh, said to be post-bacillary if a case of leprosy with uh, one to uh, five skin lesions without demonstrate presence of bacilli in skin smear, and multi-bacillary case if a ca case of leprosy with more than five skin lesions with nerve involvement. Uh, or with the demonstrated presence of bacilli in slit skin smear, irrespective of the number of skin lesion. Only presenting feature of uh, leprosy are numbness, macules and papules, anesthesia, neuritis and reaction. Now talking about indeterminate leprosy, it is also a type of leprosy in which lesions are commonly on the extensor surface of the limbs or buttocks or on the face one or more hypopigmented or faintly erythematous, ill-defined macules are seen. Infiltration by definition uh, is not present. Lesion cannot be felt by the examining finger. Lesions are normal anesthetic and there are no enlarged nerves. Lepromin test is variable, uh, usually negative. Slit smear for AFB, variable and usually negative. And histamine test, uh, reduced or absent will. Uh, flare may have depressed it from other hypopigmented macules. In this picture, we can see here that we can see hypopigmented uh, macule uh, in the cheek. It is a mac uh, macular lesion of indeterminate uh, leprosy. Lesions of indeterminate leprosy, which are uh, patches uh, faintly visible with not very clear sensory impairment. And the diagnosis usually requires histopathological examination. Now, coming uh, to classification of leprosy, the Ridley Joplin classification. It is a more scientific, widely accepted and research-oriented classification. It is based on four parameters and this is really important, four parameters. That is clinical features, histological features, bacteriological features and immunological features. Based on all these four parameters, uh, leprosy is divided into five groups. That is uh, tuberculoid leprosy, borderline tuberculoid leprosy, borderline borderline leprosy, borderline lepromatous leprosy and lepro lepromatous leprosy. Uh, now moving uh, on to this uh, flowchart. This is one of the important flowchart in uh, leprosy. Here, after exposure to mycobacterium leprae, either it may have natural resistance or symptomatic uh, leprosy may present. If there is natural resistance, uh, it may uh, clear asymptomatically and in symptomatic leprosy, yeah, it may turn into tuberculoid, borderline tuberculoid, borderline borderline, borderline lepromatous and lepromatous leprosy. In uh, tuberculoid pole, here we can see tuberculoid pole and lepromatous pole. In tuberculoid pole, cell mediated immune, immune response is high and when we move from tuberculoid pole to lepromatous pole, cell mediated immune, immune response decreases and along with it, uh, lepromine test uh, positivity also decreases and, uh, and the organism, uh, organism's um, load increases if we move from tuberculoid pole to uh, lepromatous pole. And in histology, we see granuloma formation in case of uh, in uh, tuberculoid pole. But in uh, moving to lepromatous pole, we see foamy macrophages with uh, globi. 
In uh, tuberculate uh, leprosy, initially it has uh, single lesions, uh, single lesions, uh, and when we move to lepromatous pole, we can see many lesions. Initially, in tuberculate pole, it may have asymmetrical lesion, and uh, coming to immune mediators, in interferon gamma, interleukin six, and interleukin uh, interleukin twelve changes to interleukin four and interleukin ten. Now talking about tuberculate leprosy. <coughs> Any site may be involved, including uh, sometimes a warmer area such as palms, soles, scalp, flexures, and midline of the body. There, it may be single or few in uh, number. Lesion may be single or few in number, and large up to 10 cm in diameter. Skin lesions are often solitary, particularly in those patients who present as tuberculate de novo instead of upgrading to tuberculate from borderline tuberculate where multiple lesions, usually no more than three may be found. In both groups, immunity is sufficient to affect cure, thus placing an upper limit of 10 cm on lesions. Tuberculate plaques are asymmetrical, well-defined, erythematous or copper colored and can be either homogeneously elevated or gradually flattened in the center, representing central healing with peripheral uh, spread. For this morphology, a plaque with a sharply defined and elevated border that slopes down to a flattened atrophic center, which, appear, which is termed as saucer right way up. And it is one of the important uh, points for MCQ, saucer right way up is seen in tuberculate leprosy. Now, macules uh, may also be seen, they are erythematous uh, in light skin and hypopigmented in dark skin with copper or orange uh, tint at times as are, they are well demarcated, have a dry, hairless and insensitive surface. The sensor loss is uh, typically severe and may include all modalities, temperature, pain and touch. The initial lesion may be hyperesthetic but uh, it is later replaced by significant loss of sensation. However, it may be difficult or even impossible to demonstrate impaired sensation in a lesion on the face because of the general supply of sensory nerves. Hair growth is uh, deficient or absent over the lesion. Autonomic nerve damage um, results in dry and scaly with complete loss of hair and sweating. Uh, nerve uh, involvement is either non or, non or single nerve may be uh, thickened. A thicker nerve is usually palpable in the vicinity of tubercular lesion, whether it may be a plaque or a macule. Example, ulnar nerve if the lesion is near the elbow, brittle cutaneous uh, nerve if uh, near the wrist, etc. Or a thicker nerve may be felt leaving this lesion. So, the sensory nerve will be missed by the examiner if he does not run his uh, finger lightly all the way around the edge of the lesion. For the thicker nerve is uh, detected by feeling uh, and not by sight. A lepromine test is strongly positive. Histamine test uh, is uh, absence of flare and slit smear for AFB may be negative. In this picture we can see a macule uh, that is flat lesion of uh, tubercular leprosy. Here we can see the hypomigmented uh, patch. In this picture uh, we can see a well-defined border peripheral Peripherally, we can see well-defined erythematous border and central flattening. And this uh, lesion is known as a saucer right way up. Here, it, this is also one of the example. Here, we can see uh, erythematous border which is elevated with central flattening, and uh, which is termed as a saucer type, which is seen in tubercular leprosy. Now, moving on to borderline tubercular leprosy. Uh, size may up to be uh, 10, 10 to 20 cm uh, and may encompass a whole limb. The number of lesion is greater than in uh, tuberculoid where it was single lesion but here it may be up to 20, 10 to 20 cm or more. The primary skin lesion are uh, plaques and hypopigmentation and which may be cons conspicuously dark uh, pigmented uh, passion. Ossipendical lesion uh, that are well to ill defined with regular to irregular borders are hypoesthetic with moderate loss of hairs. The margin may at places stream of gradually into normal skin and satellite lesion are often seen. This is important. Satellite lesion is mainly seen in borderline tubercular. Lesion have less scaling, erythema, induration and elevation. Borderline tubercular uh, leprosy with large 
pale macules, multiple nerve image is sometimes called maculoanesthetic or low resistant tubercular leprosy. There is a propensity for type 1 reactions that can occur in either skin or nerves or both in case of borderline tuberculosis. Uh, from this slide, this satellite region is a really important point. Nerve. Nerve may be widespread and asymmetrical uh, nerve enlargement leading to widespread nerve damage is characteristic. Nerve may be greatly enlarged and nodulation on palpation may, be, palpation may signify a nerve abscess. A lipromine test is a weakly positive. Slit smear for AFB is nil or scanty. Here we can see the uh, picture of a borderline tubercular uh, plaque with borders which uh, may be well defined uh, to ill defined and uh, regular to irregular border. Here we can see a large plaque with satellite lesions which is only uh, which is mostly seen in uh, borderline tubercular. Now moving on to borderline borderline leprosy. It is admixture of tubercloid and lepromatous type of lesion. The lesion may be macule, plaque or papule or a combination of these types. Uh, lesion may be asymmetrical, well demarcated, somewhat sign lesion are seen. An annular lesion with characteristic ponged out or Swiss cheese appearance. That is outer border is a bag, inner border is uh, clearly defined and well demarcated is characteristic lesion of borderline uh, borderline leprosy. This Swiss cheese appearance uh, is uh, one of the important point for MCQ and which is seen in borderline borderline leprosy. The border in which lesion has a well defined tubercular interior margin with a poorly defined lepromatous exterior margin. The presence of both these morphologies uh, is termed dimorphic lesion and geographic lesion. The shapes of lesion are characterized by streaming irregular border and map-like contour with satellite which represent an infiltration around immune areas. This is also an important point that is geographic lesions. Nerve damage is variable. Widespread and asymmetrical nerve enlargement if downgraded from borderline tuberculoid and asymmetrical nerve enlargement if patient has upgraded from borderline leprosy. If there is a reaction, uh, this can present as uh, symmetrical polyneuritis. Sensory loss is on the extensor surface of the limbs, which characterizes lepromatous leprosy is unusual. Lepromine test is negative, and slit smear for AFB shows moderate number of bacilli. Uh, in this picture, we can see Swiss cheese appearance of borderline borderline leprosy that is in this lesion here we can see uh, inner side tubercular margin that is well defined and outer outer lepromatous uh, border lepromatous border which appear as C, swiss cheese so name is given as swiss cheese appearance here also we can see uh, swiss cheese appearance And in this uh, case, we can see uh, macules, papules, and plaque with uh, geographic uh, lesions uh, seen on the lower abdomen. Now moving on to borderline lepromatous leprosy. It is variable size, number, and morphology. A case of borderline leprosy uh, can have lesion of borderline tubercular leprosy as the majority of these patients have downgraded from borderline tubercular Hansen. Madurosis is absent or less marked than lepromatous leprosy. This is uh, important madurosis that is a loss of uh, eyebrow hairs. Classically, the disease starts with macules. Uh, they are more distinct, however, more variable in shape, though still small and not so perfectly symmetrical in distribution. The earliest infiltration is in center of the macules. The signs of nerve damage, uh, such as loss of hair, loss of sensation, decreased sweating, and hair growth, start earlier than uh, lepromatous leprosy. Papules and nodules, uh, these lesions have a sloping margin which merges imperceptibly into normal skin. They are more defined and less symmetrical than those of lepromatous leprosy. Some nodules are dimpled in the center. The lepromatous like nodules, if numerous, are symmetrically arranged. Plaques, uh, earliest infiltration may take place within the initial macule, sometimes creating a plaque like appearance. Anterior and plaque lesion, although numerous, are symmetrical. Classic lesion, that is poorly marginated outer border, uh, but a sharply marginated inner one may be also be seen. The center is raised and there is sloping toward the periphery, termed inverted saucer appearance.
may also be seen. Points out uh, or switches appearance may also be seen. And there is mild loss of sensation and hairs. And peripheral nose becomes enlarged and the sites of predilection uh, sooner than in lepromatous leprosy, the not so symmetrical sign of damage occurs sooner. The knobs are less commonly tender than in borderline tuberculoid because spontaneous uh, reactions are less common. When disease is extensive, borderline leprosy patient may also develop glove and stocking sensory loss. This is important. Glove and stocking. And slit smear for AFB, uh, we, we can see many bacilli and the uh, lepromin test is negative. In this picture, we can see inverted uh, saucer lesion with central infiltration described in borderline leprosy. In uh, lepromatous leprosy, uh, there are two types of uh, lepromatous leprosy. Uh, that is uh, LLP. This refers to rare polar form of lepromatous leprosy that arises de novo and is uh, stable. And LLS, that is this refers to common commoner subpolar type that rises after downgraded from borderline tuberculate, borderline and borderline, borderline lepromatous. Here we can see papules and nodules, papules, nodules in case of lepromatous leprosy. Uh, here we can see patient with a diffuse infiltration, madarosis, uh, the so-called leonine face. Uh, clinical feature of uh, lepromatous leprosy, nasal symptom uh, consists of stuffiness, cross formation and blood stain discharge. Edema of legs and ankles is also present. Skin manifestation may present as uh, macules, papules, nodules uh, with all three but macules are likely to appear first. When a patient uh, present with all three types of skin lesions, it will usually be found that gross lesions such as nodules are on the face and lips, uh, while macular lesions are on the trunk. Skin lesions are multiple and have a distribution which is bilateral and uh, symmetrical. Macules in lepromatous leprosy are erythematous uh, on light skins and on dark skins are coppery or may appear hypopigmented with a faint erythematous or coppery sheen. They have indefinite ages and this indicates the lack of substantial tissue response thus accounting for the lack of contrast from the normal skin. Uh, papules and nodules may uh, be of normal skin color or may be pigmented and uh, are formed on palpation are in the skin and so variable in size. As the untreated disease advances uh, thickening of the skin of forehead causes deepening of the natural lines uh, resulting in uh, leonine faces, ear lobes are thickened, eyebrows are lost, nose becomes swollen and broadened and may collapse, eyebrows become thinned uh, together with eyelashes, the voice becomes hoarse, the upper incisor teeth uh, loosen and fall out, bilateral insensitivity of the limbs known as glove and stocking, glove and stocking, anesthesia, may be present, uh, leads to shortening of the finger and toes due to painless and often repeated trauma. Ichthyosis may be present, not thinking associated with sensory or motor dysfunction depending on the type of nerve may be involved. The thinking of peripheral nerves gradually takes place with the passage of time, for there is no nerve thickening in the early stages. Thicker nerve feels firm and smooth. Uh, thickening uh, being localized to portion of the nerve which are more superficial, example the greater auricular nerve in the neck, the supraclavicular nerve as they cross the clavicles, the ulnar nerve just above the elbows. Here we can see the uh, enlargement of the greater auricular nerve, uh, enlarge the uh, supraclavicular nerve. Here, here we can see the right facial palsy, ulnar and major nerve palsy showing atrophy of the thinner and hypothinner. Eminence. Uh, here we can see the corneal uh, opacity of left eye uh, and with uh, depressed nasal, bridge and madarosis. Hairs are lost all over the scalp, rarely in advanced uh, lepromatous disease, there may be residual hair growing only in bands over the course of arterial supply to the scalp, probably where it is warmer. This is called lepro leprous alopecia. Peripheral nerves are affected late in the disease course and first become firm, then enlarged, then hard, and uh, at the size of predilection and symmetrically. 
uh, slit smear for AFB very uh, we can see many bacilli with many globi and leprobin test is negative here we can see the hypopigmented uh, macules on the back with occasional papules here we can see the nasal perforation and depressed nasal breeze 